For myself, that is uh, speaking as a sample of one, I'm looking for creative and critical thinking. I'm not looking for the buzzwords or the keywords as uh, necessary for a great paper in and of itself. If they can use certain buzzwords or keywords within the context of explaining in their own words the issue, then that's very good. But I really want to hear what's inside their head. What I don't want to see are long or short quotes, particularly long quotes, from other people. Uh, it's fine if it helps support the student's point of view. References used in support of what the student's trying to tell me. I don't like to see long and short quotes used as part of the body of the paper. Um, so there's that issue. I like to see creative thinking from the student. Many times they'll relate it to their own work experience, their own life experience. Uh, they'll bring that into the paper to help make one of their points. I think that's excellent. If they can take a, a life experience personally or a work experience uh, from their life and integrate that to help make their point in this assignment, this written assignment, that's a wonderful thing. Um, I also look for a lot of syntax. That is, is this a paragraph that's going for six and a half pages? I'm getting real tired reading this. You know, I need a, I need to, my eyes need a break. Paragraphs were invented for a reason. Uh, spelling, punctuation, an occasional error. Yeah, sure, we've all done that. It's understandable. It's okay. Repeated errors are not okay. That is, a student's telegraphing a message. I didn't bother reading my paper through, but now I want you to read it. So those things are kind of negative warning signs. Uh, overall, a lot depends on the assignment itself, but mostly I'm looking for creative thinking combined with good writing skills. When I'm done reading the paper, do I have to read it again to get it? Or can I read it once and say, even if I disagree with what the student's saying, that's immaterial, really. Am I getting it? Can I read it once and get it? That's a well-written paper.